Yo, what up? It's Pika calling in from Singapore. It is Friday night. But I'm a little late because it's after midnight already. Um, it was a pretty good day. It was very interesting. I had a hiccup right off the back though as soon as I got to work. Um, so I dropped my baby girl at school as, off, as always. Grabbed the train all the way down to Rochur to go to work. And um, got upstairs, set everything up. I actually helped open this morning. So I was like one of the first two people there. Open this morning, went and set up to um, to make my uh, hook my computer up and everything, and then um, lay out all the work that I needed to get done. And lo and behold, my computer won't start, and I couldn't figure it out, man. I couldn't hear the fan going. I was feeling heat coming out of the port near the um, the the side where the the charging cable plugs in, and it, the light would pop up on the on the front, and then it would stop, and then like within like five minutes, it would start beeping, and it scared the crap out of me. I was like. Are you serious right now? Add that together with Mercury retrograde and you're like, oh shit, what else is going to go wrong? <laughs> so I let it be for a little bit and I was trying to think of, okay, what else can I get done? So I was going to revise the notes that I had for the growth tribe training, but I didn't have the slides in front of me. I just had my notes. So I couldn't make sure that, you know, I, I had it in order or not. So I let that go. There was a book I needed to read called My Iceberg is Melting. So actually, that's what I did. I read that book instead, and I finished it. I think it took me, I think it took me like three and a half hours or something like that. It's a really good book, very, very easy read, pretty much about team building and how to test the team you've chosen for strengths and weaknesses and then to organize them according to those strengths and weaknesses. So it's actually really cool because I've always been interested in team building and the ramifications of actually doing real team building rather than, oh, let's go out all out and have dinner somewhere and call it a team building. I think it really is necessary for people to know who's on their team and what their strengths are um, because it, it forces you to look at how efficient your team is rather than, oh, this person's a good guy and that person's a good guy and this person's a good guy and let's hope everything works together. They still have to work as one and that's where team building kind of short, falls short. If I can find anything on team building, like courses or whatever, I think I'm going to actually push myself to take those because... It's something I've always been interested in. Mm. Anyway, that's a side note. So, um, yeah, computer issues this morning. Read a book um, while I was at work. I actually listened to a bunch of um, parent-teacher calls because we're trying to fill up the workshop, workshop we have tomorrow for, um, for mathematics skills. Uh, got used to the kinds of excuses and objections that come up during these calls. Most of them have to do with location um, because it's difficult to get to where we hold the classes. Or uh, the other one would be um, time, how long it takes to have one class. And also, excuse me, the course fees. So um, those are the three objections I keep hearing a lot and I'm trying to figure out what else that I can um, create into a pain point of some sort to push the sale through. Anyway, that's beside the point. So once I was done with all of that, um, I was actually dismissed pretty early today. I think I got home at like 2 o'clock in the afternoon, uh, but not before I found out if there was any recommendation for where to get my laptop serviced. Lucky for me, I work in Simlim Square. Simlim Square is about six floors worth of electronic shops. Lucky me, right? I know. Um, I'm on the sixth floor, and it just so happened that the next-door neighbor um, was very, very good friends with the owner of the company that I'm working for since she's been there for 13 years, he knows her really well, and so he was willing to take a look at it and then let me know, you know, what all needed to be done. So it looks like my RAM crashed, and he's going to replace that for me. I only ran about 100 bucks, which I think sounds decent. I would rather do 100 bucks than a brand-new computer at this point or um, a data dump from my hard drive. So I'm actually really excited. I'm hoping this makes everything a little more efficient, a little more streamlined. And, um, yeah, so I left my, my computer at the doctor's overnight, and came home. It was kind of weird because I was tempted to pick up my daughter on the way and just come straight home so I don't have to go back out and get her, but it was like two o'clock, right? So I was like, no, it's okay. Let her finish her classes and whatever else she's doing and I'll just come home. Came home, um, had lunch, debated whether or not I should go to sleep because I'm, I'm actually quite tired, but I decided, all right, well, you know what? I can't, I can't go to sleep. I'm just going to go ahead and watch a movie or something. So I caught up on Baywatch. I, I had not seen it until today. It was kind of funny, kind of stupid, but it's okay. It was entertaining, I guess. Um, 
yeah, so that was basically my whole day. Eventually I got up and went and got my daughter, came back, picked up uh, uh, sorry, groceries to cook dinner. I made kotro tonight, so I'm actually really pleased with the way it turned out. And now I want to talk to you about the reset. So as you know, I just started a new job. I've been lucky this week has been kind of simple. I went into work on Tuesday. I went in, uh, sorry, I went into work on Tuesday. I was basically off on Wednesday. Uh, went into work on Thursday and went into work today as well. So I've worked four of the five days during the week this week. I'm supposed to work weekends, right? Well, this weekend I get off a little bit easier. I go into work at 4 p.m. to help set up for the workshop and then I should be done by about 7. And then on Sunday I'll be going in at 12 and get off by about 2. So super simple this weekend. And remember I was telling you yesterday, I don't know what it's going to be like as far as my days off and weekends. So I don't know when I'll get my housework done or how I'm going to get it done. So right now it looks like I can go ahead with what I had originally planned, which is do the laundry in the morning on a weekend, uh, get them all pretty much dried and everything before I leave the house for the workshop and then do some cooking in between or whatever. So that's going to work out. The other thing is I get Monday and Tuesday off. So super chill weekend with a, you know, a couple of engagements here and there and then Monday, Tuesday off, which sounds amazing. So here's where my reset comes in. I've been talking and talking and talking about a blog, right? And I've been really... I took that sickness as a really big excuse, you guys. I totally did not do as much as I wanted to. It is the 18th, well, technically the 19th of August, and I still have only six blog posts. So I need to kick my ass into high gear and get this shit sorted out. The plan is to write my ass off this weekend so that by Tuesday evening... I'm pretty much caught up to the date and the amount of num the number of blogs I should have on my page. Um, I have been stagnating a lot uh, about the website because I know, you know, right now my blog page is actually tiled. So there is a big picture for um, for every blog post and then there's a little bit of a blurb underneath it, but it's it's in a tiled arrangement rather than a list or an archive arrangement. And my problem at the moment is the pictures are not aligning. They're different sizes, and I'm having trouble making sure that they stay the same size every time. So I need to go back through that original YouTube tutorial I took to create the webcast, uh, the website so that I can figure out where I missed what. I, I specifically remember a part of the, the video that said something about, you know, you need this plug-in widget, I don't know the terminology, um, to make sure that the the tiled pictures are the same and then that your website loads those pictures fairly fast so it like compresses all of the pictures. So I need to go back through, figure out where that is and adjust. I have been procrastinating. I have been putting everything off and I really should not have. So I'm really hoping starting with tomorrow because I'm I'm wrecked. I, I'm the reason I'm doing this late tonight is because I actually fell asleep. I was trying to put my daughter to sleep mm -hmm. and I fell asleep with her. And I was not able to <laughs> get back up until just now. So I got up, washed my ass, and I, here I am talking to you guys. So the reset for me is to get back into the swing of doing my job and doing the new job as well as the housework. <laughs> um, it sounds like a lot, but I know it can be done. I've done it before. I just have to like just get in the swing of things. Start a trouble. It sucks. Anyway. Um, yeah, so more on that tomorrow, I'll let you know how it goes, but, you know, the mornings are usually reserved for all of my housework so that I can get um, the bulk of my work done and out the way before lunchtime. I think I'm going to force my daughter to take a nap before we go to the workshop, just so she's like, super chill and, like, relaxed uh, by the time we get there and re get ready to come back home. Um, yeah, this reset is going to be important for me because I know in the coming weeks there'll be a lot more work that I need to get done. And because I'm actually carting my own personal laptop back and forth to work and home, I need to make sure that I am working on both businesses equally so that I don't lose any of the momentum that I, that I work so hard to create at the beginning when I launched the, the, the website the first weekend and then the, the, um, the audios as well. So look at me. I'm super proud. I haven't missed a single day of audios. And here I am at episode 26, you guys. Unfortunately, I missed a bunch of days on the blog and I'm still at blog number six. Not happy about it, but I'm going to fix that. Um, what else? I have been posting every day on, in, uh, on Instagram. I did miss like one or two days here and there, but I could tell where my engagement fell because there was no new content. So I'm going to work on that. Um, but it's becoming easier. I'm, I'm actually using the commuting time on the bus to work 
as the because it's like the perfect time for me to post anyway it's about between eight and nine o'clock in the morning and uh, which is normally eight or nine o'clock in the evening for anyone stateside so I'm using the commute a lot to kind of think of what I want to post and what I want to talk about and the theme kind of gradually emanates throughout the day and you get an audio about it and the idea eventually would be to do an audio at night to wrap up what I was thinking about after I post it in the morning and then the blog would have been somewhere in the afternoon so that is the plan I'll see if I can get it to that but right now um, I have a lot to catch up on so reset this weekend I have four days to reset which is plenty of time I don't have a lot of homework as far as work is concerned so I can do this if I really just put my head to it I think I can all right you guys thank you so much you have been lovely as always and I will catch you tomorrow